what are they eating in New York? I bet it's more than just Big Apples. You may remember me covering this study a few years ago, which showed that the primary source of flame-retardant chemicals in the American diet, with the exception of infants who get all the pollution straight from their moms, is meat, fish, dairy, and eggs. But uh, which kind of meat is the worst? We didn't know until recently. We know that fish is the worst, and this was for halibut, which is actually one of the least contaminated. But in terms of other meats, second only to fish in terms of contamination, poultry, then pork, then beef. What's this one here, though, between chicken and fish? Turkey. Uh, so bottom line, you got a white meat more contaminated with flame-retardant chemical pollutants than red, uh, though the highest concentrations are actually found in uh, dogs' and cats' food. What about polychlorinated naphthalenes? Uh, until this study was published, information on the currents of these toxicologically significant industrial pollutants in food or on human exposure was sparse. PCNs are chlorinated uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, a potentially vast group of little-known environmental contaminants of human origin whose chemical structure can bestow a dioxin-like mode of toxic action. Say no more. Though banned in many countries, which aisle might we still find the most in the grocery store? The bread shells? The dairy case? Would it be in the deli? The egg section? Fish counter? Or would it be in the produce department? The worst was fish, with the worst of the worst, farmed salmon, followed closely by organic salmon. Then comes poultry and eggs. Let's uh, zoom in a bit here. Red meat has less, the worst being lamb. Uh, then comes dairy, and at the bottom of the food chain, vegetables, fruit, and bread. So about 10 times less than meat, dairy, eggs, and about 100 times safer than fish, which uh, gives us an idea of the route we may want to take through the supermarket.